Hey, how's it going everyone? How you guys doing tonight? Today, wherever you're from in this beautiful world. Well, I've got another one that I got from Bridge and Tunnel over at Dwayne's shop over in Astoria, Oregon. Go check out his bottle shop. He gets some real good dank stuff. Um, it's very nice, cool can art here, but let me tell you what it is. It is from Tripping Animals Brewing Company out of Doral, Florida. And the name of it is I'm Not a Cat Judge. It's a double India pale ale with cashmere cryo, mosaic, and mosaic, mosaic cryo hops. It's got some cryo action going in this. 8.5% Imperial IPA. Double IPA. All right. In the can date, there's no... Flippin' can date. Oh, yes, there is. Canned 3921. That's pretty cool. I like how they put it right there. And it's one of those vinyl uh, labels. I really like those. Um, 3921, about a month and a half old or so, give or take. Let's open it up. Did you? I even show you it. Look at this. He's got the hologram kind of eyes. That's so cool, huh? I didn't even show you guys. I'm so sorry. Isn't that cool? It's in a 16 ounce can. Got my uh, snifter. Uh, it's really looking nice. I didn't really have to do that, but eight and a half was really liking the idea there. Look at that can. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh my God, it's melon crazy, melon and tropical. Um, poured about a half a, like a pinky, half a finger, going for the nose. Passion fruit, mango, pineapple, very tropical forward fruity, fruit bomb, juice bomb. Oh my gosh. Uh, white bread. There's a slight white bread in there. The malts. Wow. Yeah, passion fruit, mango, pineapple. All right, looking at it, white, white head. Uh, good retention. Didn't pour a big head, though, but it's holding its ground right there. It's keeping a rim. And I'm sure I could uh, stir it up. Let's see. It's a little high, though, but... I mean, I'm always a little high, but... Nice white head, a little bit rocky on the top, but pretty frothy, kind of like, uh, even kind of looks, uh, uh, no, I'm not going to go that far. kind of has like a nitro kind of smoothness to the head, but it's got like the little rocky bubbles and stuff. But anyway, um, hazy beer. Look at it. Looks like mango juice. Mango or orange juice. My cat's scratching. Perfect timing. We're talking about a cat in the can. The cat's scratching while she's pooping. All right. So, mango juice, yeah. Medium rising bubble. Nice white head. Orange or mango. Hazy, can't see through it. It's going for the taste. Cheers. Cat scratch fever back there. Mm. Pineapple and passion fruit ring like crazy through this. A little guava. There's a little bit of grapefruit, a little berry notes. There's some melon. Very strong presentation of aromas and, and flavoring of hops in this. A nice French bread, kind of um, sweet, sour kind of bread. White bread um, on the, for the most part, white bread, but does have some... Uh, French bread, kind of sour, sourdough, sourdough bread, let's say. Yeah, that's the one I meant. Earthy. Yeah, a little bit earthy, fruity. It tastes kind of like uh, just a fresh uh, mango passion fruit kind of mix uh, juice. Has a nice uh, bitter back end though in the finish. Kind of gets you on the tonsils, but it but it um, 
but it dries away everything. It's got a sticky lip thing going on, definitely. Hiding the alcohol pretty well. I'm getting a little heat above the soft palate before it drops down the throat. Spiciness, a little uh, viscousness going on with the hoppy resinous kind of bite in the back. It's very nice. It's that spicy hop loop yulin kind of feel. Almost has a cannabis quality to it in, in a way. Not, not a whole lot of pine, but a little bit. There's a slight amount of pine in there, but not so much. A little more grapefruit forward in the finish. Sweet on the palate, on the tongue. A nice medium body. Thick, uh, medium full body. Medium body, medium body. The dryness kind of thins it out a bit at the end. Um, it's not puree or anything. It's not full like that, you know. Um, the mouthfeel, like I said, is just real smooth and real nice, easy to drink. There's a little zesty zinginess, a little bit of um, um, rindiness from like, there's a little orange in this as well. There's some orange in here. I get a little graininess, a little bit of kind of cereal thing, bite in the back. Very nice beer. Uh, out of out of ten hops, um, <laughs> I'm gonna give this nine point three five hops. I really cut it down, didn't I? Nine point three five hops. This is a very delicious beer, almost mid range A there. Uh, very A quality beer, very quality made, very well made beer. Um, very nice. Uh, very really liking this. I want to say it's a New England IPA. Because it is pretty hazy. It's a, it's a hazy IPA, if anything. But it's got kind of a New England kind of feel to it. It's softer, sweeter. It's citrusy, uh, tropical. It's nice. Melons and berries. and Real nice uh, flavor, aroma forward beer. So, cool. Well, been good. This is a good one. Very good. 9.35 hops, yo. I'm out of here. You guys have a good night, day, wherever you're from in this beautiful world. But not after one more sip. <sighs> mm, so nice. So nice.